Hey guys, it's Darth Lion here, and today I'm going to be showing you another Force Friday review. Now, I did upgrade my background a bit right here, as you can see. What's new is the uh, Star Wars box right here, and it has a really cool picture of Darth Vader right here. It has great pose with his lightsaber and the cape flowing, so that's really nice. As you can see, it's the Star Wars right there. This is actually from my uh, HP laptop, as you can see. It says HP right there. And yeah, and uh, what's cool about this box is that um, when you open it right here, when you're about to, it says right here, you don't know the power of the dark side. So that's pretty nice. And uh, Darth Vader said that phrase in Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. So I wanted to add this Star Wars HP Darth Vader box in the uh, background for today. I have my Star Wars goblet right here, which is Darth Vader, really nice. And I got my two Black Series figures. I have my Darth Vader figure from 40th, from the 40th anniversary. And I have my newest Star Wars Black Series action figure. It's the Snow Trooper. Now, you may recognize this review from my Christmas video I did. And it's these. These are some Hot Wheels Star Wars models. Now, when I got these during Christmas time, I really adored them all. I mean, yes, I am a huge Star Wars fan myself, but um, the concept art is the best part about these models. Uh, Ralph McQuarrie designed each of the concept art, as you could see here. And every model I'm gonna go through, every model I'm gonna go through. I'm going to show you the concept art in the box, on the box, and on the car. And uh, here's a twist right here. During Christmas time, I got four models, as you can see, four Hot Wheels cars. But, a few weeks ago, in school, my buddy of mine, Nicholas Boye, got me this. It was another Hot Wheels Star Wars model. As you can see right here with Darth Vader on it and the Death Star. So shout out to Nicholas Boye right here for this Hot Wheels Star Wars model right here. And uh, the name of this model right here is called Spoiler Sport. So I thought that was a pretty funny name considering the fact it has a spoiler right here. Spoiler Sport. thought it was a really nice name for this car. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be adding him into the review today as well with the Hot Wheels Star Wars models right here. Which is one of the main reasons. Which is one of the main reasons why I want to do this review today. To add this model in, and to show you all these cars again. So without further ado, let's start. So we'll first have a look at this one right here. And before we take a look at the car, and before I get started, I just want to say I love all these models right here. I thought Hot Wheels and I thought Mattel did a really great job with producing these Hot Wheels models. Thought he did a, I thought Mattel did a really good job with these Hot Wheels Star Wars models. And some news right here. Mattel, they're going to be releasing some Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys really soon. So I'd be looking forward to that. And yeah, but we're going to save all that for Jurassic June. But for now, we're going to be looking at these Hot Wheels Star Wars models made by Mattel. So let's take a look at the box. So on the top left corner right here, we have the Hot Wheels logo right here. And uh, this is the classic uh, Star Wars logo from the, pre from the prequel Star Wars trilogy. This is the classic Star Wars logo right here. So it's really nice to um, add it in to bring us back. So that's really nice. And uh, right here, you can see uh, the reason why it says Ralph McCoy right here. He was the one that made these concept arts on each car on the packaging. So that's really nice. And it says Star Wars die cast. And on the background right here, you can see it shows you C-3PO right here. Or what is supposed to be C-3PO. So that's really nice. I never knew, honestly, I never knew C-3PO originally looked like this. And right here, 
the little red droid right there, that's R2-D2. The first look of him. And the first look of C-3PO right there. And I always say that um, R2-D2 was blue, basically. He wasn't red. So I thought that was really nice that um, R2-D2 was first red. Then his main color is blue. So that's pretty cool. So these are the two right here. And it appears that they're on Tatooine. I believe that's Tatooine. Yeah, I think so. I sometimes get mixed up with Tatooine and Dentooine. Since they both sound really similar. They got the two planets have similar names. I remember I used to mix those up. But I believe this is Tatooine right here. I can tell because C-3PO, I remember C-3PO and R2-D2 land on Tatooine in Episode 4, A New Hope. Which was the first Star Wars movie to be released, by the way, in 1977. And here's the Hot Wheels model right here. And this is Highway Hauler. As you can see, Highway Hauler. Really nice art right here. Really nice details on the cab. Well, not the cab, because <laughs> the cab is yellow right here. Really nice paint job, but the uh, the box, the box right here, or the trailer, or part of the truck that it's carrying right here, uh, it's got a really nice uh, art deco on it with the uh, sand people. So that's really nice. Uh, this is there's a uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, this takes place on Tatooine, because that's where the Sand People live. And, uh, this is a really nice car. It got really nice rims right here. It's nice and chrome right here. Really cool. And here's the front of the truck, and here's the back. And really nice details. And here's the top. And here's the bottom right here. And as you can see, uh, it's got every all the information right here. Made in Thailand. And Mattel, and on the bottom right here it says the name of the car, Highway Hauler. And this is a metal car, and this is not a plastic car, this is die cast. And this is part of the Real Riders line right here. So that's pretty nice. And on the back right here, you could see um, we got the Star Wars logo on that side, and the Hot Wheels logo on the other side. It says collect them all right here. Now, I have almost, I have all these cars with the exception of the 66 Dodge A100 and the 67 Ford Bronco. So those are the only two I don't have, but the rest I do have. So that's really nice. So, yeah, these are all the cars you can collect from the line right here. And on the bottom, on the bottom right here, it says right here, hot. Uh, this is for Hot Wheels collectors right here. As you can see, it says for the adult collector. Since some cars right here, you should save them in the box to get the, um, to collect. Make sure the car's in good condition. And uh, on the bottom right here, it says uh, Ford, Chrysler, Disney, Lucasfilm, StarWars.com. Not for use with some Hot Wheels sets right here. But I don't know if you want to, um... I don't know if you want to uh, put it on a Hot Wheels set because this is really valuable right here, as you can see. This is a collector item. And yeah, there's Mattel right here. So I think Mattel did a really good job with these Star Wars die casts. Really nice. And um, here's the next one right here. Uh, same thing with the uh, first one. We got Hot Wheels, Star Wars, Ralph McQuarrie, Star Wars die cast. And uh, right here, we have a different background this time. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm sure you Star Wars fans will recognize this part right here. Uh, that is supposed to be the Millennium, the Millennium Falcon, the ship Han Solo uses. <laughs> really nice. And uh, you got you got two of the characters right here. I'm not sure what the, who they are. I believe these are the Rebel troops. I think. Just like, I believe this takes place in Hoth, in The Empire Strikes Back. 
So as you can see, you can tell because of the ice right here, and Hoth is a snowy planet. So I believe this is the rebel troops getting ready for the Empire's invasion. And uh, you can see an X-wing right here. And right here, you can see there's another there's another character right here. Now I'm not sure if that's another rebel trooper. But it's still really nice. And uh, you can see the snow speeder on this corner right here. And here's the car. Now this one right here. I believe this is supposed to be Luke Skywalker on a Tauntaun. But to me it kind of looks like a raptor. Like meet the new. Meet the new Owen. For any Jurassic Park fan out there. Owen is the one who trains the Velociraptors in Jurassic World. <laughs> so he kind of kind of reminds me of him for this artwork right here. The Tauntaun kind of reminds me of a Velociraptor and Luke Skywalker riding on the Velociraptor kind of reminds me of Owen from Jurassic World. And uh, on the back right here is an Adat getting ready to fire. So if I were you, I would run. Because <laughs> um, just blasting the Adat won't save you. So um, yeah. So Luke Skywalker and the Tauntaun are trying to get away from the Adat. And uh, really nice details on the car, as you can see. Really nice on the hood. And uh, really nice rims right here. Really nice and chrome. And here's the back right here. And on all of them it says copyright LFL. So I believe this is supposed to be for Lucas copyright Lucas Films, since they were the ones who are part. Since that's one of the companies who made Star Wars. Well, Disney makes Star Wars now. Since George Lucas stole the Star Wars uh, movies. But I still like Star Wars either way. I'll never stop loving it. <laughs> so on the bottom right here, you can see this is Rolling Thunder. So you can see the name right there. And on the bottom right here, it kind of looks like... To be honest, it kind of looks like a funny car from this angle right here. If you know those funny cars where... um, Or the dragsters... That they have like the open uh, rooftop right here, or not the rooftop, the open body to show you the inside of the car. So it kind of reminds me of that. It's really nice. And as you can see, you got the big tires in the front end, the smaller tires in the back. Oh, the yeah, big tires in the back, and the little tires on the front. You see, real riders right here, Rolling Thunder. And on the back right here, it's the same. Collect all the models. And yeah, all these are for adult collectors. And uh, yeah. And as you can see, there's like a Dodge logo right here. And it says HotWheelsCollectors.com. So I believe when you go on that website, it shows you all the uh, collectible Hot Wheels cars you can collect. Now for this one right here, uh, this one might be my per might be my favorite out of all. Well, not one. Well, it's one of my favorites. Sorry about that. It's, this is one of my favorites uh, that I have so far. This is one of them. And uh, if you remember this, right, if you m remember right here in my Christmas video I did, uh, I was guessing that this character was Luke Skywalker, and I knew this one was Darth Vader. However, well, I was checking, or I was doing a little research on this artwork right here, and uh, to be uh, in the conclusion, uh, this is Luke Skywalker. Uh, this is an early version of him. So, this is an early version of Luke Skywalker fighting Darth Vader, and I believe this is Cloud City. From the Empire Strikes Back. And, uh, yeah, these are the classic lightsabers they used to have. So, like, if you get a lightsaber, it's not like uh, this one right here, where it's like... Was red right here. It's not like this lightsaber right here. This is the classic one. So let me compare it to you. So let's compare the lightsabers right here. So here's the classic lightsaber right here. And here's the real right lightsaber. So as you can see, there's a lot of differences right here. So like this lightsaber kind of looks like a, um, kind of looks like a searchlight, but it's pretty cool though, nevertheless. And I do love the concept arts Ralph McQuarrie did. So this is really nice concept art of Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker are about to fight. Really nice. And, uh, yep. 
Here is the uh, Ford Transit Super Van. And uh, as you can see right here, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader are getting ready to fight from, if you remember from that scene in Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, they're about to fight in Cloud City on Bespin. So it's pretty cool. And um, right here, you can see right here it says, um, it's got some text right here. Let me check. It's kind of a bit small to read right here, as you can see. Um, it does say V8 on there. But it's still cool. Really nice. And uh, we got some white, we got white wall tires right here. Pretty cool. I do love the rims right here. Really nice. And as you can see, the name Ford Transit Supervan. Nice uh, art. Nice details with Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. On the back right here. And here's the front. Nice details. Here's the top and here is the bottom right here. As you can see, it says all the details right here. So that's pretty cool. And on the back right here, same thing as the other packages. It's pretty cool. Really nice, uh, really nice cars, guys, like I said. And uh, here's the final car. Well, not the final car. Well, the final car I have from this part of the line. The other car I'll be getting to after this one. So you can see the same, same logos and uh, Hot Wheels, Star Wars, Ralph McQuarrie, Star Wars Diecast. Awesome. And uh, right here we have a different image this time. Uh, as you can see, this is supposed to be Luke Skywalker. When he crashes his X-Wing in Dagobah, where Yoda lives. And this takes place in Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. And uh, here's, the, um, here's the vehicle, or the car. Now, I do like the tires. Instead of it, um, this is not like chrome tires compared to the rest. Uh, this is actually black tires this time. So I think it's really nice as... Nice uh, chrome, uh, nice chrome lines right here on the tire. Really cool. And all the tires are rubber, by the way. They're not like plastic tires. They're rubber. And uh, as you can see right here, here's the um, here's the artwork. There are the details of Dagobah. And this is when Luke Skywalker is beginning to fly his X-wing to save his friends. And as you can see right here, where my thumb is pointing right here, that is supposed to be Yoda. Yep, that's Yoda on the bottom right there, as you can see. In fact, I'll point my finger right there. Right there, where my finger is pointing at, that's Yoda. So that's pretty cool. Nice details on the car. And uh, nice details on the top right here. And, uh, now I like that they did this, um, this is actually like a spare tire right here, but they added a chrome right here, so that's pretty cool. And uh, here's the grill right here, really cool. And this is the, uh, 34 Chrysler Airflow. Really nice. And on the back right here, pretty cool, pretty cool. See all the cars right here. Adult collectors. And uh, here's the bonus car. It is this one right here. Like I said, the name of this one is Spoiler Sport, as you can see. I'll move him to I'll move him right here. So you can see him. So you can see him a lot better. So I'll move him right here. So here's the um here's spoiler sport right here. And uh, this one comes, this one's loose right here. Nicholas, uh, my buddy Nicholas, uh, gave this car to me. And uh, this is a loose car, which means this is not in the box. And to be honest, it's still in mint condition, which is surprising. And uh, yeah, really cool. And uh, if you're wondering what the box looks like, uh, here's the box right here on the computer. On the on my computer right here, it shows you this is the actual box of the um of the car. As you can see, this is a different packaging. This is there says Hot Wheels on the top, Star Wars on the side right here. Same classic text as you can see, 
And uh, we have Darth Vader right there, and looks to me like the Death Star. And that Death Star, I know, takes place in Return of the Jedi. So that's pretty nice. Um, that's pretty nice. Like I said, Mattel did a really good job with these cars. And uh, right here, it's kind of the same packaging as the rest of them, with the exception of the uh, concept art. Uh, this is actually real art, or this is the real design of the movie. And uh, yeah, it says spoiler sport on the bottom, and this is also part of the real Riders line. And as you may know, there's other cars that you can collect from that line. Right here, right there. I'm going to um, go in close right here so you can get a better view of the cars. All right, so here it is. Here they are. And uh, this actually looks like a galaxy background right here. So that's pretty nice. You have the Star Wars logo on the top with the Hot Wheels logo. And it says, collect them all. You see, I have Spoiler Sport right there. That's the car I have. That's another one of my favorites, uh, the Spoiler Sport that I have. And uh, there's also the Dream Van, XGW Panel, the Quick the quick de live e the quick de live -y, I think that's not it. and uh, the Volkswagen drag truck haul and gas and the 1985 Chevy Astro van and uh, I'll show you the characters so this is Darth Vader it's Princess Leia Luke Skywalker R2D2 C3PO and Han Solo and right here, and this says this also says right here for the adult collector right there. It says Hot Wheels collector. So all these cars are for adult collectors. All of them right here. Yes, I mean all of them. All the Hot Wheels cars are for the adult collector. So, anyways, moving on, moving back to the car right here. Uh, this is the car I got, which is really cool. And I do love this car. I really love this car right here, as you can see. Uh, you can see an image of Darth Vader right there. And it looks to me that he's doing that same pose as what he was doing in Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back when, at first, Han Solo was about to shoot Vader but blocks it with his hand, then takes the gun, and he has that same exact pose as he's using the Force to take Han Solo's gun. It's the same exact pose. So I thought that was really nice to, to design right there. Really nice. And uh, in the behind of Darth Vader, you can see the Death Star right here. Or some, or the Imperials want to call it, or some people want to call it the second Death Star. And the first Death Star, uh, it was full. Completely full. Like this part right here, it was complete round. Uh, there was not any parts missing like this one right here. So that's why they call this is called the second Death Star. And I think this has really nice uh, paint job on here. Uh, red and black. So that's pretty cool. So here's one side right here. And this kind of looks like a dragster. Kind of reminds me of because as you can see right here, when you put it down right here, it actually... It actually goes downwards, as you can see, kind of like a dragster. So I thought that was really nice. Really nice car, the Spoiler Sport. And the reason, I believe the reason why it's called a Spoiler Sport is because of the spoiler. <laughs> no wonder. So that's, I thought that was a pretty good name for a car right here, the uh, Spoiler Sport. And uh, as you can see right here, here's the, um, the headlights right here. Kind of, remi kind of reminds me of the old uh, Pontiac Firebird cars with the headlights downwards right there for them off. And when they go up, that's when the headlights turn on. So I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, here's the other side with Darth Vader and the Death Star. And uh, really cool designs, like I said. And here's the back right here. And it has a really cool detail right there in red. And it says copyright Lucasfilm right there. And a really cool car. And it even has some red line tires. So it's pretty nice. Classic. That's what the classic Hot Wheels cars had. Red red lines. So it's pretty cool. And uh, on the bottom right here. 
you could see. Uh, this is Mattel. Uh, wow, this model was made back in 1976. That's one year before the first Star Wars movie came out in 1977. This model was released in 1976. Then it was released in 2011, right here. It says Hot Wheels, spoiler sport, made in Thailand. Yeah, I think this is a really awesome car. Really adore it. Thank you, Nicholas. And uh, if you're wondering about these cars, now, right here, I'm not going to open any of these uh, cars, as you may know. And the reason why is because these are limited edition uh, Hot Wheels cars, my dad says. And uh, he told me that um, he, he found these cars, and these were the only four that he found. Uh, not including this car, because Nicholas Boyer gave me this car right here. Uh, not including that car, but the rest, these were all limited edition uh, cars. Uh, yeah, these were the only ones available. So if I take those out, it could um, decrease the value right here. So I'm going to keep them in the packages. I'll probably um, hang them to the uh, wall for display. So yeah, that is my look at the Hot Wheels Star Wars concept art models. I really hope that you enjoyed this Force Friday review. And leave a comment down below. Which one of these models do you like? In including the spoiler sport right here. So tell me in the comments. Which car? Or I'm going to face it like this. So it could be better. So which one of these cars do you like the best? Which one of these cars do you like the best? You can tell me in the comments below. And uh, yeah. This is my review on the Hot Wheels Star Wars concept art diecast. And stick around for another Force Friday review. Thank you for watching. This is Darth Lion signing off.